Okay, how you doing? My name is Ryan LeBlanc. Uh, this is my third time trying to film this video. Every time I get into it and start editing it, I learn more and more. Um, so I want to talk to you about the upcoming election happening on July 11th, 2020. Um, some things that I want to go over are the Go Vote app, registering to vote, and uh, just some general things. Um, I'm going to dive into the specifics in another video, uh, who's running in East Baton Rouge Parish and the amendment that we're voting for in East Baton Rouge Parish. But I realized that <clears throat> the whole state is not voting on that. So even if you live in Ascension Parish or somewhere close to here and you might see this video, those things might not apply to you. So I want to put that in another video. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, when you log into the GoVote app and you can either put in your address or you can put in your name specifically. If you put your name specifically, you can see how you registered to vote and also you can change your voter registration and other things like that. So I just wanna go over what is on the GoVote app uh, and what kind of information you can expect from it. Uh, the next election is on July 11th, 2020. It'll tell you where you're voting, who and what is on your ballot, my districts, which is kind of like where your address sits in all of these things, uh, my elected officials, Registrar of Voters, which is kind of some information-based things on where things are. Change voter registration, uh, voter information, which is you yourself. Electronic notifications, I think it'll send you notifications. You can go to the full website, and you can see election results. So, um, something I did personally was I looked at my voter registration, and I saw that I was affiliated with no party. So I changed my voter registration. It was actually kind of easy, uh, which is unexpected, but I did it all through the app. I changed my party. Now I can vote early if I want to, but you have to register 20 days prior to the election to count for that election. Okay, so something else I learned, um, there are three different ballot styles. If you have the option on the app, 002 is Republican, 003 is Independent, and 0015 is Democratic. So here's what I found out. 40 parishes, parishes have a closed party presidential and Democratic public and Republican committee elections. 15 parishes have closed party and local elections. Six parishes have closed party local or parish-wide proposed elections. Three parishes have closed party and local proposition elections. I'm just going to put that on the screen because that's kind of hard for me to explain. Depending on what parish you're in, you're going to be voting for different things. Um, so download the GoVote app and figure out exactly what you're voting for. Um, in East Baton Rouge Parish, I know that we have a proposed amendment that's very long, and I will try and decipher that in another video of exactly what it means, and I'll try and get that out so I can inform you. I've also looked into all of the city court judges and I will have that in that video as well telling you you know this is this city court judge this is why well it's gonna be very non biased so it's not why you should vote for them but it's giving their spiel about what's up with them what's the good what's the bad that's the other thing I want to talk about the go vote app is a local app uh, meaning that it doesn't relay information to anybody so it's not like you're marking things on there and it's going to the government and they're tracking to see what you're, who you're voting for. Um, you can use it to check off what you want to vote for and then you can bring it into the polling booth and give yourself a little reference. Be like, oh yeah, that's who I wanted to vote for, this, this, and that, and the other. Um, so it's a good little tool just to use um, and you know spread the word about this. This really needs to be use more registering to vote if you're not registered i will put links below on everything you need to know you can do it by mail you can do it online i think you can even do the go vote app um but it's not hard to do and uh i will have everything you need to know about that you must be registered to vote 20 days before the election so that's what's up all right so like i said download the go vote app figure out who you're voting for in louisiana and Come back for this other video if you live in Baton Rouge, and I'll go over city court judge and the proposed amendment. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.